Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is R6 Father Cell 2004. Also, this uh, job what we're going to do on this video applies for older and a newer generation bikes as well. So basically, we're going to change the oil and the oil filter which is there. And the big, big, big point on this is we don't have to remove any big fairings around. So let's crack on and I'll show you step by step how to change the oil and a filter on R6 5 Number one, make sure you check your owner's manual and you know what capacity oil it goes into, into this bike. So you know you got enough to actually replace the old oil. Number two, so you check you got enough oil to replace it, you start up your bike and run for about one or two minutes to make sure the oil actually warms up a bit and it's going to be easier to drain out. So number three, make sure you've got all tools ready uh, to not mess about and not looking for them. So we get basically got socket, we got screwdrivers, we, we got all tools, we got the place where to drain the oil and also we got the new oil and filters. So number four, is we remove this little plastic around your coolant uh, fluid and then we come to this side and basically we just remove this uh, oil cup it will be much easier to actually join all out coming up nice and easy okay so num number five get yourself a pair of gloves and we're gonna remove this little 17 mil little 70 mil bolt of screw up there which is this one in here we use 70 mil socket make sure also when you get this bolt off check for any signs of any defects on the inner engine sometimes it could be a little aluminium dust or little metal pieces if there is some noise in your engine that could be a big problem so there's nothing in here very clean and uh, happy about that we remove this filter and also i use 70 mil spanner That's a filter was off. Just pull back your filter, place it back in the place. And pull back also your 70 mil screw. Obviously, of course, make sure it's nice and tight, same as a filter. And uh, let's crack on. Okay, so everything is put back, filters are back, the screw is back, and we're gonna. So, uh, basically, on a this is the 5SL 2004 model, uh, oil capacity it says 2.7. Some people say it's a bit too much, some people say it's a bit less. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put 2.4 or maybe two and a half liters, and then uh, we're gonna run for some time and see if we're gonna drop down. So Make sure you, you clean all the engine parts because I like to keep my bike nice and clean. Okie dokie, so basically we added about uh, 2.5 litres of oil. Uh, the capacity on a manual book is says 2.7 but I read it online. Some people say it's a bit too much, some people say it's just a little bit too less. So basically I added two and a half litres and I checked the uh, oil leveller and uh it was enough so that's pretty good what we're gonna do let's start it up and run for some couple of minutes and uh, see if the oil level will go down or you're gonna stay so let's start it up 
fine. Just a quick video how to change your oil and oil filter also about the capacities on all sixes uh, mostly they're pretty similar even the newer ones or the older ones this is 5SL 2004 uh, usually 2.7 litre uh, they're actually well the manual book says 2.7 litre of oil uh, but I suggest you to actually when you replace your oil filter and oil don't put more than 2.5 litres put 2.5 litres run it for like 2-3 minutes accelerate just a little bit to make sure it gives that uh, a bit more pressure uh, to the engine so he actually gives the oil to every single channel don't go too hard don't accelerate like a full throttle just do it nice and smooth so 3-4 thousand rpms and then check again and then check again the oil level we ended up with really decent uh, level I wouldn't go to the maximum exactly maximum always dro dropping down a bit because uh, remember you still lean on the sides you go you know and I think and I read it before that's not actually good for bike sometimes it could give it just a bit more pressure so basically the parts have to work harder but that's the one uh, things we have to be careful uh, you have to be careful of the filter if you buy if you don't want to remove any fairing you need to buy the nice and proper filters which I will show you in a second to actually understand so these are KNN filters yeah this is the KNN uh, performance and you see this little bolt in here it's a 17mm you can use spanner so it's actually easy to undo it uh, what I did, I bought the, of course, the cheaper one. I tried to save money, but I ended up with a bit more trouble just to replace the filter. So my filter actually come with no the bolt on a uh, on a on a on a back. So I need to use the special tool for it to make sure it goes back nice and tight. So that's that's the one little issue. Yeah, you make sure you buy the nice proper filter. It will go for longer anyway. Don't be like me. Uh, what else? I mean, we check the level. I go for a ride when it's nice and decent weather. It's not now, actually. Go for a ride and check it again. You know, we check it again because then you give it more pressure to the engine and uh, basically it will put the oil the places where we have to be. And uh, no, that was a nice and easy video. Uh, follow me, just subscribe and smash that like button if you find it helpful. Also, I got nice videos about this bike. That was actually my project. Uh, it went from smashed up bike to this nice, uh, nice looking bike. And also, I got so many videos about everything, doing gearboxes, engines, pistons, ticking noises in engines. So smash that like button and subscribe. The more videos will come up. And thanks for your time. See ya.